Good morning. Thanks for waking up with two. Taking a live look from Mayfest right now, where we are looking at Justin Fisher, where he's covering everything that you really need to know about the Tulsa Arts Fest Festival. Uh, I'm Corey Duke, downtown already getting down with it this morning. What, it's 5.30? Justin, are you amped? Are you ready to go? I didn't even need any coffee this morning. Of course, I drank some because I have an addiction to that. But it is electric out here already. We've got DJ Calave behind us. The music's going. The fun is just getting started Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There are so many artists here, so many artists performing on the FC Tulsa stage, on the Garden stage. we got DJs out here. And I had a chance to speak to some of those who are involved in this, some of them for the very first time. So many amazing people involved with Mayfest. And I had a chance to talk to some of it AHA earlier this week. From musicians playing on the big stages to artists painting their hearts out. Look at all these artists. They have beautiful work here that's all for sale. There is plenty of things to do and see at Mayfest, including a piece or pieces from TJ Blair. His artwork is painted from the same spot along Riverside in Tulsa at different times of day for 53 days. This is his first experience in displaying a piece at Mayfest. Actually, it's his first time ever. The show kind of popped up and I was like, you know, I'm going to give this a shot and see. I want people to see it. That show, the gallery at AHA, it's a big opportunity. An opportunity Blair says he is ready for. Like, let's just do it. Let's, let's go and do it. I mean, life's too short, you know. And life is too short just to see one portion of Mayfest. There are lots of acts taking to the FC Tulsa main stage and garden stage at AHA, including Carla Gregory. So it's it's pretty grand. I mean, it's Mayfest. It's it's a timeless Tulsa tradition. And David Skinner. We're looking forward to playing. From the CBG and the Get Ahead Band, Carla grew up in green country, so she's no stranger to the glamour of Mayfest. You come down here, you see your friends and your local musical heroes playing on these stages, all the different various locations that it's been over the years, and you say to yourself, I'm going to do that someday, and that day is here, and so it's... It's pretty grand, I mean. And you and your friends can catch CBG and the Get Ahead Band on Saturday evening. It's a, it's a chance for people in the surrounding area of Tulsa to uh, experience the arts, not just music, but the arts and uh, just people in general and celebrate uh, the community. And, and this community is filled with talented musicians. To be a musician in Tulsa right now is incredible. It really is, and it just continues to grow. Opportunities, more opportunities, bigger opportunities are coming along, and it's amazing to be a part of. It really is. It's a big part of those opportunities is the available funding. Well, our office is beyond thrilled to help support Mayfest and AHA. That support comes from the relaunch of Play Tulsa Music, a recovery program. Abby Curran with the Tulsa Office of Film, Music, Arts and Culture tells me there is $350,000 in American Rescue Plan funding being used to support Tulsa venues and festivals. And what this funding does is it helps support 50% of the cost to hire local musicians and pay them. So um, it's a really exciting program and it's needed in our community, especially coming through a pandemic. And not only does the funding help give everyone more shows to watch and enjoy. These are jobs. These are these are gigs. Curran tells me it has a much broader impact as well. You know, uh, we did a music strategy study and we found pre pandemic that the music industry has an economic impact of three hundred and thirty five million dollars on Tulsa's economy. And with that in mind, it's Mother's Day weekend. It's a great weekend to be out here. The weather's going to hold. The weather's going to hold and it's going to be beautiful and there's there's just so much to see and do. You could spend an entire week down here and miss things. You really can, because there is so much going on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 11 to 11 today, tomorrow, 11 to 6 on Sunday. Now, speaking of the musicians, we're going to be talking to one just a little bit right here in 2 News Oklahoma today. Ryan, he is, uh, he is with uh, a, a group that is going to be performing right here, Ryan Allen in Mayfest. We're going to talk to him in just a little bit, but we're really hoping for some sunny skies, no more rain. Let's get over to meteorologist Michael Sager for more on that.